A Little Rock woman 22 weeks pregnant says she was shot by her child's father as she tried to run away from him. The domestic case almost turned deadly when one of the bullets hit the mom's hip, going through her stomach. Both baby and mom survived in this, though. Thanks for joining us. Tonight at 5, I'm Ashley Katz. KRK4's Rebecca Jeffrey spoke exclusively to the mother about what happened and how she's now already trying to empower other domestic violence victims with her story, Rebecca. Yeah, good evening, Ashley. Amber Davis just got out of the hospital today, 10 days after she says she was shot twice by her ex-boyfriend. This isn't the first time she's landed in the hospital at the hands of this man, but she promises this is the last. You can't be afraid of the devil because he wins. Amber Davis has been through hell and back. I just uh, turned around and I just saw him coming towards me just shooting. At 22 weeks pregnant, Davis was running for her life outside her Fairfield apartment in West Little Rock. She remembers hearing several gunshots, one bullet going in and out of her ankle, another hitting her hip. Broke my small intestines in six different places, so you can just imagine the pain, but I still had to get out of there. She also realized her front tooth had been knocked out from a punch. A woman standing outside called 911 and drove Davis to Baptist Hospital. I really thought my baby was dead because if you get shot in your stomach and you feel stomach pain, you're going to automatically assume that it just went straight to your baby. Emergency surgery and 10 days in the hospital later. I should make a full recovery. And so should baby Ava Nicole, even though the man who helped make her is the one accused of pulling the trigger. Davis says this is the second time her ex-boyfriend, 21-year-old Cortez Handley, has assaulted her. I'm not in the business of giving too many chances. But I'll give you one chance. After serving eight months in jail, Davis took him back. You know, you feel like you can fix them. You can't. A message she wants other domestic violence victims to understand and speak out. I feel like you have to be stronger than that. You just have to be stronger than that. Oh, I'm going to be stronger than that. Like and though tears land where there's normally a smile, as she heals, she hopes her story can empower someone else. Now, Hanley remains in the Pulaski County Jail with a $500,000 bond and faces three counts of aggravated assault, among other charges. Davis is due in October. Ashley.